education. Semper ad lucum is the motto we live by at the Knox School, Latin for always towards the light. Our ceremony today allows us to reflect on these powerful words. When I think of Semper ad lucum, always towards the light, I think of self-enlightenment or working towards accepting who we are today and striving to become better tomorrow. The senior class has experienced this enlightenment and their movement towards the light has prepared them for the next step in their development. Junior class, today you are only a smidgen of who you will become in the next 12 months. The growth and maturation that you will experience during this upcoming year will be exponential. Today, juniors, you have earned the right to wear the senior blazer. However, you have not yet earned the right to be respected as senior members of the school. This respect you must earn through your actions and through your character. You must present yourself in a mature and kind manner and you must embody our core values. This will earn you the respect of the red and white blazer and you will be challenged in ways you did not know possible. You will need to work collaboratively with people whom you may not be your first choice to work with. And there will be many jobs in the next 12 months that you would rather not attend to. But you must because the leadership of the student body is in your hands. This is why you have the privilege of wearing the blazer. Earning respect does not come without its hardships. You will be challenged beyond what you thought possible, and there will be times when you feel like giving up. But remember our motto, Semper ad lucum. Keep moving forward and every challenge faced and lesson learned will allow you to grow into the young adults you hope to become. I would like to read to you some excerpts from Kaylee Kramer's 2008 valedictorian speech. Kaylee was an honor student who graduated from Knox in 2008. She was valedictorian, student council president, and received numerous school awards for character, community service, and academic excellence. Kaylee completed her freshman year with honors at Centenary College in Hackettstown, New Jersey, where she majored in biology and equine studies. As she aspired to become an equine veterinarian, Kaylee was selected to serve as a first-year leader and teaching assistant for her sophomore year at Centenary. Kaylee lost her life at the young age of 19 in a tragic accident that occurred on Tuesday, May 26, 2009. Kaylee had just finished her first day of summer physics course at, summer at Farmingdale State University. As she was walking towards the campus bookstore, she was hit by a truck and killed instantly. Here are Kaylee's words. Semper ad lucum means always towards the light. When we think of the word light, all good things come to mind. A soft candle light is romantic. A flashlight gleams, keeps you safe in the dark. And we could never live or be happy without sunlight. Always towards the light means constantly moving toward greater knowledge and wisdom. It is also about learning better and brighter principles of humility and community. Since Semper ad Lucum refers to always moving towards better philosophy and behaviors, it is closely associated with respect. It may inspire someone to be more sensitive and understanding of others, regardless of position, gender, or race. As knowledge, responsibility, and courage lighter way, so does kindness. Everyone, somehow, in some way, affects one another. The people you meet and the things you experience will always remind you how to live by the words Semper ad Luca. This simple phrase will always lead you toward the light, wherever that may be. Live our motto in all that you do and experience. Live our motto the way Kaylee did. Show your community and our world that Semper ad Lucum is part of who you are and strive to become the best senior class that leaves a lasting impact on our home beside the shore. Thank you. And now, I would like to invite Dr. Bush, your book advisor, to lead us in the presentation of Rose Leaves 2008. Mrs. Talona Baker.
Will Isabella Benruby please come up for the dedication? dedicates its yearbook to a teacher or administrator who has provided the most help and support to the senior class and has given back to the students over the years. This year, the graduating class has decided to dedicate the 2018 yearbook to Mr. Kai Christensen. Mr. talking to him about any problems that they may have and can take his advice without worrying if they are being judged. He helps all of his students with one of the most precious abilities that can be learned and retained, the ability to think critically. Mr. Christensen goes above and beyond his duties as a teacher and advisor, mentoring students to become not just better self-educators but greater citizens. He has done an incredible job with the STEM lab, guiding his students to build their own tables, workbenches, and 3D printers. He puts all of his effort into whatever class he may be teaching, whether it's robotics, engineering, astronomy, or the theory of everything. Mr. C's theory of everything class has changed my entire view of how I look and respond to the world and has helped me adapt, and I will forever be grateful for that. We are proud to present the 2018 edition of the Knox Rosalies to Mr. Christensen and thank him for being a true inspiration. here after the ceremony. They'll be over here. Underclassmen, you may pick up your yearbooks in the College Constant Office after 3.30 this afternoon. Now, will Hannah Bogart, Senior Class President, please come up to lead us in the traditional ring ceremony. Class of 2019. We congratulate the juniors on their accomplishments so far and wish them the best of luck as they prepare for their final year here at the Knox School. Today's ceremony is one of the most important tasks along this journey. Please welcome Jamie Ritchie with the reading of Promise Yourself, The Optimist Creed. The Optimist Creed by Christian E. Larson. Promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind, to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet, to make all your friends feel that there is something in them, to look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true, to think only the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best, to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every little creature you meet a smile. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of yourself and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but great deeds. To live in faith that the whole world is on your side, so long as you are true to the best that is in you.
Good morning. I'd first like to start off by welcoming all who are in attendance to see the juniors reach a milestone and transition from a junior to a senior. Juniors, you have all reached a point in your lives where everything starts to speed up. In a few months, you will be applying to college. It all goes so fast. This year, you have experienced an increase in workload, a change in mindset, and putting college at the forefront of your minds. You may feel as if your workload is taking over and your social life and you may feel as if your nights of homework are becoming longer. I've been there. My junior year wasn't easy, but it was so rewarding. Even though you may be feeling extremely overwhelmed, work hard so you can be proud of what you achieve. One of the greatest rewards of becoming a rising senior is choosing to receive the traditional school ring. The ring was established in the year 1914 and is made of either gold or silver. Additionally, there is a carnelian stone that holds the Knox School seal. The ring is engraved with our motto, Semper ad lucem, meaning always towards the light, which symbolizes to always look to the guiding light of the future, even when times get rough. The torch that is depicted on the ring represents the passing of Knox's torch and core values and traditions as you become seniors and then alumni. The circular shape of the ring represents all the long-lasting friendships and relationships you have made here at Knox. Your friendships and memories here at Knox will be lifelong. Overall, the ring is one of the most symbolic aspects within the history of Knox. Your ring will connect you with others who also proudly wear it. I received my ring from a very special person who always led me in the right direction and still does to this very day. Now I pass the ring on to you. I hope that you will always keep this Knox tradition near and dear to your heart and uphold it in the years to come. I also hope for all of you to carry our core values proudly and forever. On behalf of the senior class of 2018, I would like to say congratulations to the rising seniors. Remember to cherish these last few days of being a junior because the time flies by and you will be a senior quicker than you realize. Please hold fast our traditions and keep the love of Knox to grow only stronger. Knox is filled with passing people who always pass the torch to the next class. Semper ad lucem, and remember, you always have a home beside the shore. Thank you. Will Michael Diaz and Tez Prezan, class of 2018, who are about to receive a class ring, please stand and raise your right hand. Please repeat, repeat after me. I, say your name, now as a student. I, Michael Diaz, now as a student. And later as an alumnus, or alumna for girls. And later as an alumnus. Do solemnly, swear, Do solemnly swear faithfully to maintain and uphold, to maintain and uphold the, honor and the honor and principles of the Knox School and to the best of my ability to set a good example to the rest of the school and herewith do I give you my hand. When your name is called, please come to the stage to receive your ring. Michael Diaz, Madison Lincoln. Myself will present Michael with his class ring. Jamie will present.
Kyle Prasad, Student Council President, will now come forward for the presentation of Senior Blazers to the Class of 2018 and speak about the significance of the Senior Blazer. Juniors, families, guests, faculty, and students of the Knox School. I would like to welcome you all to Knox this Wednesday morning to celebrate the final transition our current juniors will experience before taking senior, by the, senior year by the reins as they get ready for the next chapter of their lives. Today, as I look at all the anxious juniors waiting to receive their new red and white status symbols of seniority, I reminisce of this time last year when I too anxiously waited to receive my red blazer. Being a student at Knox for six years has definitely given me the opportunity to witness several different senior classes wear their blazers with pride, as it symbolizes the beginning of the end of their high school careers and excitement for college or future academic pursuits. However, when I received my blazer last year, I was overwhelmed with emotions of enthusiasm, but also a little bit of sadness, as I knew that my time at this great school was now limited to a short remaining nine months. Ladies, your blazer color is white. The color white symbolizes purity and offers the ability for new beginnings to get your hands dirty. In your senior year, I encourage you to break out of your comfort zones and try new things that you would have never have tried before. Join the musical class, take a more challenging course, or get engaged in an extracurricular activity that forces you to break out of your shells. The best surprises and enjoyable experiences are life are done in spontaneity. Gentlemen, your blazer color is dark red. Dark red symbolizes passion and adventure. I encourage you to ambitiously go after your goals and aspirations. Become more vocal in your thoughts and opinions and continue to try to develop your own values and morals. And as your, as your class now stands as role models for the younger grades, this is your year to shine and your time to leave a legacy at Knox. The wearing of the Knox School's colored blazers connects you to the years of academic and cultural history this school provides. It allows you to understand your impact as a senior class on this school and gives you a symbol that honors your presence in the school community which shows that the school respects your voices and opinions. You are now the guiding leaders of the school and, I, and should wear the title with excitement. Juniors, I encourage you all to wear your blazers with pride as you always uphold the core values and pillars of character Knox instills. Juniors, the next year of your lives will be filled with amusement, nervousness for college decisions and planning, as well as growth, as you will all begin to experience a sense of academic and emotional maturity that will allow you to prepare yourselves for adulthood. In doing so, I encourage you to make everlasting memories of this great place and cherish the relationships you have made here, as they shall stay with you throughout your lifetime. With this advice, I hope you all make the best out of your next nine months of your high school career, as your blazers not only symbolize your final year of high school in Knox, but also the beginning of your venture in seeking independence in the real world. On behalf of the Student Council, the administration of the Knox School, and the current senior class, I commend you, juniors, on your accomplishments thus far and cannot wait to see the success that senior year has in store for you all. Enjoy your new blazers. Thank you. Will the other senior members of the Student Council please come up to assist with the presentation of blazers? Hannah Bogart, Senior Class President. Wani Yang, Student Council Vice President. Arian Evans, Student Council Secretary, Sylvia Hernandez Benito, Academic Representative, Olivia Hope, Knox Athletic Association President, Isabella Ben Ruby, Equestrian Representative, Selena Zhao, Visual Arts Representative, Daniel Leach, Performing Arts Representative, and Elizabeth Bostakova, White Team Captain. And now the presentation of Blazers. Edip Akurek would like to invite Daniel Davey and Hannah Bogart to come forward to present the Senior Blazer.
Isai Bala would like to invite Chris Cherry and Nick Kazaku to come forward to present the senior blade. <laughs> Lindsay Cowden would like to invite Sydney Maslin and Olivia Hope to come forward to present the Senior Blazer. David Kui would like to invite Gary Huang and Johnson Kai to come forward to present the Senior Blazer. Garam Kuo would like to invite Brandon Hahn to come forward to present his senior blazer. Michael Diaz would like to invite Daniel Leach and Bradley Kuma to come forward to present his senior blazer. <laughs> Connor Free, Free would like to invite Antonio Marone and Chris Boyden to come forward to present the senior laser.
Derek Giuliano would like to invite Michael Kurth to come forward to present his senior blazer. Star Jin would like to invite Wani Yang and Sophie Lu to come forward to present her senior blazer. Skylar King would like to invite Madison McCalsey and Jamie Rishi to come forward to present her senior day. Mark Kelly would like to invite Darius Brown to come forward to present the senior blazer. Asian Lee would like to invite Sophie Liu and Happy Liu to come forward to present her senior days. Blake London would like to invite Brett Talbert to come forward to present his senior blazer.
Carla Melanda Gisbert would like to invite Marta Mahit Borrego and Sylvia Hernandez Benito to come forward to present her senior visit. Joe Kiao would like to invite Johnson, Kai, and Rachel Gia to come forward to present this season of Rami Salam would like to invite Michael Curry. Gavin Chen would like to invite Rachel Gia and Luke Chang to come forward to present the senior case. Mufid Ozell would like to invite Ian Torres and Lucas Curran to come forward to present this. Colby Palmer would like to invite Ian Torres and Nick Kazaku to come forward to present this <laughs>
Min Chao Fan would like to win by Ian Torres and Chris Boyman to come forward to present the same Tess Prusan would like to invite Sylvia Hernandez Benfield and Marta Mahik Borrego to come forward to present her senior days. Maya Tintweiss would like to invite Isabella Berubi and Hannah Bogart to come forward to present her senior plays work. Dory Tran would like to invite Amy Adams and Chris Boyman to come forward to present her senior voice. Tony Wang would like to invite Luke Zhang and Tiffany Chu to come forward to present his senior poster. Bora Yilmaz would like to invite Hannah Bullock and Luke Spurman to present the same thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
the door atway would like to invite Ian Torres and Nick Zaku to come forward to present the same words. Finally, Julie Zhu would like to invite Rachel Gia and Wani Yang to come forward to present her senior work. Juniors, congratulations and may you wear your blazers well. We will now recognize the incoming officers for the December Ad Lucum chapter of the National Honor Society. Mrs. Perola, can you please come up? Congratulations, juniors, on your hard work this year and on the transition to your senior year. We all look forward to the great accomplishments you have in store for the future. Today, in honor, in addition to watching the juniors transition into their senior year, the National Honor Society is proud to announce the newly elected officers for the 2018-2019 school year. After a very successful year, it will be difficult to let our seniors go, but I am confident in the abilities of our rising officers. I would like to start by welcoming up our new National Honor Society President, Brandon Prasad. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to be elected as President of the National Honor Society, continuing to uphold and honor the pillars of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. National Honor Society isn't just an organization. It is a lifestyle and a culture that allows students to broaden their horizons beyond imagination. With that being said, I am proud to announce the new Vice President for the upcoming school year, Lindsay Cowden. group of young adults in accomplishing our goals next year. I would also like to con congratulate Colby Palmer, the Society's Treasurer. Please welcome to be and assisting with track and follow through of fundraising activities that will allow us to participate in more outreach programs next year and in the future. Finally, it brings me great pleasure in announcing the historian, Vasya Tassiathos. Vasya will strive to uphold and ensure that all members are working with the Society's Students and faculty and families. I'm just going to wait for you. 
of the students, faculty, and families, please join me in congratulating the National Honor Society's officers for the 2018-2019 school year. Ms. Adams, our Assistant Director of Residential Life and Student Life, to announce our upcoming student government representatives. Performing Arts Representative. <coughs> Congratulations, Matea Markovic. Arts representative. Congratulations to Cecilia Shin. Congratulations for Brandon for serving another year. <laughs>
academic representative. Congratulations to Hagen Week. representative. Congratulations to Maya Tentlice. Team Captain. Congrat congratulations to the new white team captain, Turbo. Congratulations to the new Red Team Captain, Amy Marie Hughes. Athletic Association President. Congratulations. 
congratulations to Edit Accurate. Middle School President. Kyle, can you please come up to present this, please? Can you please? Congratulations to Declan Morell Smith. Congratulations to Alex Harris.
junior class president. Council Secretary. <clears throat> Congratulations to the new Student Council Secretary, Isai Bala. I'll now invite our student council president to come up to announce our student council vice president and student council president for next year.
Congratulations to the new student council president, Rami Salam. Thank you, family, friends, alums, for coming today to support us in this long-standing ceremony. Thank you to, special thanks to Mrs. Riccardi for helping pull this together, and Ms. Adams and Ms. Masurlian for helping us pull this together for today. I think it was a fabulous ceremony. I just want to, I have a couple of housekeeping items. One, we're going to have an all-school meeting at the end of the school day today. And students' attendance will be taken. So please arrive promptly in the gym here when your last class ends today. It's 1040, Mrs. Riccardi, what period would they be going to? F period. F period, you said you'll be leaving the gym and heading to F period today. Um, at the close of the assembly, student, new student council members are asked to remain for a photograph. Seniors, please stay after to receive your yearbooks here. Underclassmen, remember you may pick one up in the College Counseling Office. <laughs> Junior class, don't forget to pick up your Navy Blazers. Okay. Will the Junior class please stand? It is my pleasure to introduce the senior class of 2019.